You are watching the Dr. Nandy Show, and my next guest is Dr. Erica Gray. She's a pharmacist and the co-founder of Toolbox Genomics, and her company uses your genetic results to offer lifestyle choices and action plans that can improve your life. Thanks for being in the show, Dr. Nandy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. Hey, you know, tell me about what happened to you. What a pretty amazing story. What happened when you were a teenager, huh? Yeah, so I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 16. Wow. And really, it was a, it was a frustrating journey because they said, okay, we're going to do birth control pills. I had two surgeries back to back. I had a third reoccurrence in under a year. And wow. they said, we're not going to do any more surgeries for you, but here we can give you all these different medications. And the side effects were pretty scary. I didn't do well on birth control pills. And so my mother said, there's got to be another way. Well, first and of all, this whole diagnosis was relatively you know pretty uncommon for someone who's 16 years of age Very. and they kept saying you're too young to have this you're too young to be suffering I said I know but we but need I to do it. something about this yeah, yeah. I mean so here's the thing you know you got you got a teenager and her mom you know have very limited options and you're figuring out what to do and and so you see all these drugs side effects and, and how old were you when they when you were making some of these decisions is it so, past 16 so 15 16 is the whole time yeah, the whole time so wow. it, was, it was very very concentrated um, and then finally I was missing a lot of school mm. and so I was you know my OBGYN said I'm not going to do another surgery for you because the surgeries have brought me immediate relief and she said you're too young for this and so then our nutritionist worked with our OBGYN and a compounding pharmacist and that's nice. how I got interested in pharmacy said we really need to change your diet so we need to eat an anti-inflammatory diet which of course meant no refined foods, no sugar, some protein, good fats. Which and means then, like death as you know it as a teenager. That's right. So, Everything you ate was gone. Yes. Yeah, so I said, well, so now what do we eat? There went my pasta, there went my whole grain breakfast. And it, it really was a whole way of, I had to really rethink my life. Um, so between that and some supplements and natural progesterone was compounded for me by my pharmacist, we got it reversed. And the whole journey took about five years because just I had to try to work with my cycle and get it regulated. But here I am, no reoccurrences and two children awesome. later. So That's great. And are there other members in your family with endometriosis or you're the only lucky one? Um, not that have been officially diagnosed, but we suspect my sister may have had some oh. inkling of it because, of course, the official diagnosis is they have to actually go in there and visually see it. But I think for so and that's what's so challenging for so many women is they really can't go in and have surgery and so it's a suspected diagnosis not an actual and they one. suffer a lot of pain and discomfort tremendous it's incredible and then you you with your journey you founded a company called toolbox genomics tell me what this is and yeah. what you do for people so in pharmacy school we were taught about how do we metabolize different drugs and yes. that everyone does it a little bit differently and so my mother had done her genetic test she had done 23 and me yes. and then she said so sweetie what do you think about this and i said oh this is actually really interesting they're giving you some predictions based on your genetics and then the question was well what can i do about it and we looked at my father's genes, and he's a carrier for the APOE gene, which puts him at a high risk for either Alzheimer's or cardiovascular Absolutely. disease. And I said, so, Dad, you have this gene. And he goes, okay, sweetie, what do I need to do? Right. And that's when really the rubber hit the road for me because I had to take all the schooling I had had and now integrate it with this kind of functional medicine approach and say, okay, well, what does he need to do? Because really they don't tell you. You get these genetic tests and they say, well, you are screwed. Have a good day. Right? <laughs> so to speak. You know, it's exactly. like, okay, we'll see you later. Make or sure they, you... Or they give you very nothing. broad recommendations. That's you know, for do, it, one and, size fits all. Right. And the broadness becomes frustrating and it becomes paralyzing, I think, for us. So I said, so I looked at the research and I said, all right, here's the situation. Saturated fats are really going to be a, a problem for you. And he's a foodie, so he said, well, I don't, that, that's not going to work for me. I said, well, let's just do some fat substitutions <laughs> at least. Um, Omega-3s have been really, really well studied. And what's been absolutely fascinating is shellfish. So they actually looked at a huge study of people, and they found that people with this particular gene, if they ate shellfish, they slowed down the progression of dementia, which, Amazing. again, it's such an easy thing you can change in your diet and implement right away. And for this group, coconut oil doesn't seem to help them like it does for some of the other genotypes, which but, yeah, goes exactly. against what we think. Right, so different good fats. And so here's, exactly. here's the thing, you know, so her, her dad gets this gene. And if you talk about Alzheimer's, my patients, they get incredibly scared. Right. And so now you can actually do something about it. And so for others who, who are worried that, you know, if I have, the, I have risks for 
for Alzheimer's and disease like that, it's not really the end, is it? It's not, and that's really what was the impetus for developing Toolbox was because so many people would say, well, now what do I do about it? But we couldn't just say, well, you know, eat, eat better fats or you know, eat more veggies, but really give specific actionable advice. And we wanted it to be something that people could start tonight so they didn't have to wait and go talk to their health care practitioner. And another aspect that we saw that was really important is just because you have the gene doesn't mean you express it. Correct. And so I think this is where a lot of people get scared. They go, oh my gosh, I have this gene, but it may never come to fruition because we're going to live a healthy lifestyle. We're going to make really wise choices, which is going to help us keep those genes in that quiet position. And the big story is that, you know, that even if you have these genes, it doesn't mean that's your destiny. You can actually have some control, right? And it's the things you're saying are things anybody can do. Right. So what, what her company is doing is that just making it more specific. But to me, the huge, huge point here is that your destiny is in your hands and not just based on some random, you know, that these are your parents, these are your, you know, grandparents, and that's it. Thank you so exactly. much for the Thank information you so that you gave. And your, your company's going to help a lot of people. We're really excited to help you. Thank you. We have to take a break. When we come back, we will talk about how you can clean up your dirty jeans with the guy who literally wrote the book on it. Please stay with us.